All right, this is second grade, module six, lesson seven. And in this lesson, students are going to continue practicing uh, using arrays. They're going to be practicing using those important vocabulary words of uh, rows and columns. And we're going to be connecting the math drawings. We're going to continue talking about repeated addition. This is just one more lesson where we're really uh, having our students learn the important vocabulary words, the math math concepts, but they're doing it in context. So let's get started. So we're told that we have one row of an array that's already been drawn, and then we're supposed to complete the array with X's to make four rows of five. So you see we have one row of five, so we need two, three, four. So that's our rows because it says we need four rows. So there's one row, and then here's a second row of five. One, two, three, four, five, and then we need another row of five. One, two, three, four, five, and then we need a last row of five. One, two, three, four, five, and so we now have our four rows of five, and you can see I've drawn my horizontal lines to separate the rows. Now, by the way, uh, if we wanted to, we could we could either count skip count by rows, so uh, we can write that this first row up here has five, and the second row has five and five and five, and so with our second graders, they could skip count by five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and so we know that the answer is twenty. Now here, down here, that's your Eureka Math bonus. We weren't, we didn't have to do that up there. But down here, it says draw an array with X's that has four columns of five. So now the idea is we're supposed to have a column with five X's. So there, one, two, three, four, five. There is our column of five, and we're supposed to use, we're supposed to create four columns. All right, so there's one column, one, two, three, four, five. There's another column, and then one, two, three, four, five. There's another column, and our last column, one, two, three, four, five. And we're supposed to, do we have four columns of five? Well, here's one column, two columns, three columns, four columns, and there are indeed five col uh, X's in each column. Now the important thing is we're supposed to draw vertical lines. So there you go. Or I could have done this one, and I could have done this one if I wanted to. Now the idea is fill in the blanks. So you'll notice we have four spaces, and that's going to represent, each space represents a column. So there's five in this column, five in this column, five in this column, five in this column, and that is where we are going to get our repeated addition right there. So it's going to be 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. We already talked about it being 20 because we could skip count by fives in second grade. So here's the cool thing. Four rows of 5. That's up here. Four rows of 5 is 20. Or we could also say four columns of 5 is 20. Now here's the tricky thing. Notice it says 6 columns of 5. Well, we have 4 columns of 5, so we need to create 2 more columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's one column. And then one last more, one more column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we now have six columns of five, and so we need to put in down here another five for that column and another five for that column. So how many how many do we have now? Well, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we added 10 more because we added two more columns of five. So the answer is 30. 
So here, parents and teachers, what we're dealing with is just more practice of our vocabulary. Draw an array. So we want our, our students to know what an array is. And now we, we're st really starting to pay attention. Are they are students getting the idea of rows versus columns? And are they staying straight, um, get, getting keeping those two concepts uh, straight? Now, here's the, the thing. Unfortunately, three rows of three... Uh, we're going to get an answer, and the students are going to draw it, and we're not necessarily going to know um, if the students uh, have the word row correctly. For example, one row of three is going to look like this, and then another row of three is going to look like this, and another row of three is going to look like this. But we're not sure if the student was thinking about these as rows instead, and that's of course being wrong. So really, you might want to think about asking your students to highlight what a row is so that you can use formative assessment to assess whether they're getting that concept correct. And of course, what's our repeated addition? In this case, it's going to be 3 plus 3 plus 3 because there's three x's in each row which is 9, so 3 rows of 3 is 9. And I'm going to let you finish this one off because it's pretty much the same thing as just adding a little bit to it. And that wraps up 2nd grade Module 6 Lesson 7 where our students are practicing arrays, rows, and columns.